So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 45 of our Portsmouth crew mode on the PS4 FIFA 15 and we're going to be kicking off this episode finishing the transfer deadline day. We had no action whatsoever in the transfer deadline day due to um, obviously a lack of money, we didn't have no money to spend as we've already uh, used up all of our wages on signing players like King, um, we signed uh, people like King um, and there was two others that I cannot actually remember. Freeman was another one to write back. And we also signed um, Sami Amiobi, which is also a very, very good um, signing for us. And they're going to be coming in on the pre-contract deals next season, which will really, really help us uh, strengthen our squad. And I'm really looking forward to using them. As um, we're definitely going to need them in the Championship as well, because the Championship is a very difficult league. And to get out of the Championship, I believe it's going to be um, extremely difficult. But... If we continue our form of late and um, continue playing the way we have been playing, I believe we can do well. And especially if the players continue to grow as they are and our front two as well as Barcham continue to score, we will be fine. And the first chance in this game does come to us. Actually, Benzio with a lovely stop and scoop turns, runs past the defender, cuts inside on his left foot, has a good shot, but unfortunately the goalkeeper does make a good save. We do then manage to try and get the ball into the box, but unfortunately it was a little mistake and the ball then goes out wide for a corner kick. But from the resulting corner kick, as you see there, um, it it was McAvoy actually whips the ball in the box, comes to Watmore, it gets cleared up to Das. Das tries to get there, which he thankfully does. He plays the ball to Dunn. Dunn turns his defender, has a good shot, but unfortunately for us, the goalkeeper does make a, re a reasonably good save, and they do then manage to get the ball clear, which was a little bit disappointing to us, and the chance then finished. But unfortunately for us, in the 33rd minute, they do actually get a really good chance, and they do actually punish us. Um, they slot it into the back of the net in the 35th minute, and I was a little bit disappointed to us that we managed to concede a goal, something like that. But... That's just how things go, and uh, our form of late wasn't the best, but we were already winning 4-1 on aggregate, now 4-2, but uh, we're playing very, very well, and um, the game was pretty much secured anyway, we wasn't going to lose 3-0 uh, in this game, and we'll hopefully try and come back um, straight away after that goal that we managed to concede up against um, the Dagenham and Redbridge side, but uh, hopefully we can do well, but we do actually get a good chance here with St. Maximum, plays the ball to Dembele, and Dembele scores one of the goals of the season, he cuts inside with his finesse shot, an absolutely delightful shot over the top of the goalkeeper, and that was by far one of the best goals we have scored so far this season, I know we've had very good goals from corner kicks, as well as... Um, or, um, headers as well as shots from outside the box as well as free kicks but that was just something special I have not seen Dembele do that before and that was something that I just I couldn't believe it when it managed to fly into the back and out over the top of the goalkeeper the goalkeeper was getting nowhere near it and Dembele puts enough power and accuracy on it to loop it over the top of the goalkeeper and it was actually quite a long way out as well it wasn't just on the edge of the box it was still probably about 30 yards out and he managed to whip it get enough curve on it enough bend get it up and over the defenders and up and over the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper wasn't going to save that one I don't even think people like Peter Cech would have saved that one so Dembele was extremely pleased for that but straight after kickoff, we do manage to get the ball. Uh, in the second half, we play a lovely ball across the uh, face of goal, and Dembele does get a really good touch on it, but unfortunately, his touch was a little bit too um, much, and it does unfortunately go wide of the post. But the next chance of the game does come to us. Holmes plays the ball through to Benzia, and Benzia slots the ball into the back of the net. First time, the goalkeeper didn't even have time to react, and we found ourselves 2 1 up against Dagenham and Redbridge away from home, and it looked like the tie was completely wrapped up now, as we were now winning 6 2 two on aggregate and we were running away with a tie and this was actually in the final of the area of the Johnston Paint Trophy. Someone did actually explain it in the comments down below which I'm really uh, grateful about so thank you to that person that did actually tell me about the Johnston Paint Trophy. And he said that um, the Johnson Paint Trophy, uh, we do actually uh, manage to uh, get through the area final, which is this one. And then apparently you go to um, Wembley and play the game up against the winners of the other area final, if you know what I mean. Because there's two area finals and we go ahead and play them. And that then determines the true winner of the Johnson Paint Trophy. So hopefully we can go ahead and win that and hopefully get a few funds into the bank and um, them funds could help us in the up and coming seasons to come but um, we did actually get a 3-1 victory over that one as you see as uh, St. Maximum did actually get the goal right in the end but Benji does actually come to us and say and says look I want uh, more money but he wants 20,000 and unfortunately for us we can only offer 11,000 and the reason we only have the money to offer 11,000 because obviously we spent it all in the January transfer market and we also offered uh, asked the board for some funds but the board did actually come back and say no and they said, we're not confident that you're going to bring success to the club. And I was like, 
what how realistic is that man we are currently sitting we've got promoted from the capital and we got promoted from league two we're now currently top of the league one we've done really well in the capital one cup okay we got knocked out the FA cup this season but we're still in the johnson paint trophy we're playing really good football and yet they're saying no you can't have more funds and we're only offering we only want three hundred fifty thousand. it's not like we want 500 million and um that there does actually annoy me a little bit because that is not realistic as a club would probably give you the money. I know Portsmouth have got financial difficulties, but I still believe they'd do that in real life and give you some money if you were doing so well with the club. But the first goal of the game does actually come to us. A Ledson, um, a guy that hardly never scores, managed to score a really good goal there, and I was very pleased that he actually went, managed to go in. And we do then double our lead here with Armstrong. Armstrong takes a free kick. He whips it around the wall. The goalkeeper was, a, I don't know what he was doing, but I think the bounce and the curve deceived him as he pretty much tried to dive and then fought out at the last minute. Actually, that was a really good free kick. Take nothing away from that from Armstrong, but I'd be very disappointed if my goalkeeper let in a goal like that from a free kick, as it was pretty poor. Um, but we doubled our lead with that, and it looked, we were very, very pleased. But Ledson this game did actually score a goal, and that is really, really rare for Ledson. He hardly ever scores a goal, and he does actually manage to win a penalty for us here. He cuts inside. I don't even know why Ledson is that far up the pitch. It was obviously a definite, definite penalty and a definite red card as he managed to get sent off. And because Ledson had already scored a goal in this game, and he hardly ever scores, I decided to give the penalty to Ledson. He's got 61 penalties, so he's not the best, but I decided to give it to our number 8, our sense attacking mid, our youngster, former Everton player. He decides to take it, he goes left of the screen, he goes right to the goalkeeper, puts it right into the top-hand corner, and the goalkeeper goes the wrong way, and... Ledson managed to pick up a second goal in the game in the 55th minute to put us 3-0 up against Oldham. And it was a pretty routine win for us, actually, because Oldham were currently sitting in the 19th place. So, to be honest, we're doing very well so far in this game. And hopefully we could try and get just another goal. And uh, Ledson was obviously now after his hat-trick. He does have a really good chance to get his hat-trick, and he does get his hat-trick. So, Ledson, a guy that hardly ever scores, manages to score three goals in a game. And that was what surprised me as much as it actually did, because he actually never scores. If you guys can actually remember the last time he scored, please let me know in the comments down below, because... I just can't really, nothing springs to mind the last time he scored a goal. And actually, that's his third goal in the League One because he scored three in the same game. And he actually got a 9.1 man of the match rating, which is always very, very good to see when you get a player uh, getting a uh, rating as high as that. So that's actually going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy the episode, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is very, very much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I hope to see you next time very, very soon, probably tomorrow for the next episode of our Portsmouth career mode. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.